Hey guys, how's it going? So today we are planting up these two urns right here that we've had actually in this spot for a couple of years. I really like this setup right here. Right directly in front of me is where we park our cars, so I always see this first thing, and that's why I'm excited to get these planted. Not only because we see this area all the time, but also because we've got a little chaos going on behind us, which I'll show you in just a second. We were watching this spot for the last few days, thinking like, let's wait until we know what time of the day everything is in complete shade in this area, and there really isn't a time of day where it's not dappled. So I hope that you're able to see all the detail because these plants are so beautiful but let's run back and look over here because they started putting in the forms for the concrete footings this morning which means we actually can see a shape which is so exciting look at this this is the uh front doorway right here so you walk into the greenhouse right here the back doorway is over here i don't know if that you can see that over the dirt pile but you might look at this and think, oh, that looks small. But it always kind of like I walk through, I've walked through a lot of homes being built. Things always kind of feel that way until you see some vertical construction and walls being put in. I think this is going to be the absolute perfect size. It's going to be, what is it, Aaron? 26 feet long, like 12 feet deep, something like that. Um, I think it's going to be the perfect perfect size this is the one the exact same size as the one I stood in in England when we were there um, so to see this step happening is just so very exciting and I just wanted to show it to you because I know you can see it from this area it'll be nice to have something beautiful and put together near this <laughs> Let's head back over. All right, so now I wanna show you all of these plants. I think this one is in the most amount of shade. So let's take a look at this one here. We're going with a plum and silver theme. Look at how beautiful all of these plants look together. And I don't even have them planted yet. So I'm really excited about the two. They're kind of, I'm calling them both a centerpiece plant because one's gonna take over and be a centerpiece after the callas are done. So the first plant here, the Be My Prince Calla Lily from uh, Proven Winners, brand new beautiful deep plum blooms they're called spathes actually uh, but they bloom for about 12 weeks and they don't uh, like keep setting blooms all season they kind of set their bloom and then they look gorgeous like this for 12 weeks and then you need to deadhead the blooms off of them in which case you're left with the gorgeous leaves still which will provide some sort of a vertical you know um, it'll fill the vertical space but if you want something to still have color and that sort of thing then you kind of need to plan for it to be a little bit more of an accent so i've got this brand new coleus this is in the color blaze series so it can take both sun and shade but it's called newly noir and look at how gorgeous it is with this calla lily i think it's so pretty so i'm going to keep the growth a little bit in check and it won't grow wild like the Cole color blaze coleus do in the sun in the sun they get massive like I want to say three feet at least <laughs> they can get that big in this case that wouldn't work out so great it won't grow that crazy when uh, it's in a little bit more shade but i will keep it pruned down a bit until these blooms are done and when those are done i will let this kind of go and let it kind of take up that centerpiece thriller kind of uh, title in this container and then around the base of the plant we've got two different kind of trailers here we've got the purple chablis lamium now this one is a perennial in zones four through eight. You can treat it as an annual if you want, as a nice, beautiful uh, filler and spiller in your containers. I mean, a lot of people do that. I think it's the same price. You know, you find them in this can, I think it's the same price as an annual. Um, or you can use it in this container, pop it out in your landscape somewhere. I love Lamium. It's one of my favorite ground covers ever. It does like to spread itself around, but not crazy like an Ivy or Sweet Woodruff or something like that, or Creeping Charlie. Oh, mercy, that one just, just spread so fast this one is not like that and it does um it's very easy to pull up so it's just one of those things that just blooms all the time and looks really pretty but i think the silver overlay on this green leaf is just absolutely stunning and it looks great like i'm going to pull one of them off like look at this like that's a perfect pair seeing the silver variegation and then the color of the lamium leaf and then in the back here we have a sweet caroline raven sweet potato vine which can take the shade that this area has. And of course, this one looks gorgeous as well. So, oh, the other thing about Kellas that I was going to mention is that they do like to be pot bound too. They tend to perform the best if they're kept um, kind of uh, bound up. I think in this situation, because our soil reservoir is so little that they will uh, be happy. In other containers where there's a lot more soil reservoir, you can actually leave them in their container. 
like in their plastic container and just sink them down in the pot so long as you make sure that, that they have access to the moisture in the pot as well like if you have a drip line going in the top of the pot make sure it cruises by the soil of the you know calla lily so that it's getting water um, because it won't be able to soak it in from the sides but it will help keep it pot bound so do keep that in mind that is an option so i think what i'm going to do is i want to show you guys how i plant this up kind of in real time because we've had quite a lot of emails recently asking how in the world I'm able to pack so many plants into such a small reservoir. So I don't know that, like, does this seem like a tremendous amount of plants for this container, Erin? I feel like my, uh, my perspective is skewed <laughs> a tad. <laughs> well, I would put one. Well, would you really? Well, that's true. You would put one. And I'm looking at this thinking, maybe I could squeeze one or more of these in there. I think I've got a couple more out there. So let's just walk through this. We've got our container right here with our drip system. Make sure that's not plugged. Yeah, there we go. We've got our drip system that comes up from underneath the container into the, into the reservoir. And it still has plenty of room to drain out water. So I'm gonna fill it with soil to where we have a, a little bit of a lip. Okay, kinda wanna keep in mind that the calla lily root balls are kinda big, so I think that'll do. Right there, little tiny bit of flower tone. Let's mix that in, and I'm gonna make sure that the drip system is up here on top. Okay, so the first plant I'm gonna put in is this taller of the two callas right here. So first off, when you're planting a mixed container like this, oftentimes you can knock a whole bunch of soil off the root balls like this you can make them quite a bit smaller you can squish them a little bit if you need to plants are pretty resilient there's our first one right there we're going to put our second plant our second calla right here i'm going to slide this one out sometimes they're really root bound and they're really hard to remove soil from i'm always happy when they have a little bit of room in their can still like look at this like I didn't really even have to manhandle that root ball. So see how easily that tucks in like that and kind of becomes one centerpiece plant. Okay. So then we've got our coleus next. That one, we can kind of break up the bottom here. See, I'll even pull off some roots. So it's left looking like this. I'm gonna shift this because I kind of forgot about the coleus to be honest. I'm gonna shift this back a bit. There we go. So I have room to tuck the coleus right in between the two right here. Okay. Now we wanna go with one of our lamium. most root bound of all so far and honestly like I don't even rough up root balls like this all the time I don't even think it's necessary all the time I'm gonna pop this one right here because there's kind of a natural opening let me just tuck the root ball in see every time I plant one I make sure that there's no air pockets that the soil is around each one of the root balls see I think we have opportunity to tuck one of these here and one in the back I'm gonna get another one I'll be right back I actually grabbed this instead of one of the other sweet potato vines. This is a Plum Dandy Alternanthera. This is a wonderful um, alternative to sweet potato vine. And I feel like this one doesn't weep as much. Like it doesn't not weep. Spill. I guess spill is the right term. And I don't really want it to be spilling really far down into the grass. It doesn't matter if it spills into the back because, you know, we're not mowing and trimming back here. But I think that this might be a better choice um, up front. Plus, it's got a lot of beautiful color. A little bit of hard water on the top because we've been overhead watering it. Um, it's kind of impossible to underwater, or, you know, like water under the foliage when it's in the plant can. Anyway, I'm going to tuck that one right here. break off some root ball. This is not quite a level container here. Look at that. Is that driving you nuts, Erin? <laughs> <laughs> See, look at that, plenty of room. Okay, we're gonna do another one of our lamium.
we'll fill in this little opening right back here. And then our third lamium is gonna tuck around the other side. So we kind of have gone every other if you count the coleus as like a plant going around the edge. Okay, and then our sweet potato vine right back here in the back. Make a little space for it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go around the edge and kind of clean it off, make sure all the soil's tucked in. You wanna make sure that the lip on top of the soil, especially if you're watering with a hose, you wanna make sure your lips are at least an inch. That way you have a, uh, you have available space to fill up water enough for this, the pot to soak in. If you've got your pot in a drip system, it's not quite as necessary because the water's coming out at such a slow rate that the soil is usually able to suck it down without it pooling on the top. But it just makes for a far cleaner container if you can make sure to tuck in all that excess soil around the edge. But I think all the root balls are completely covered. I think we're good. And that's how it's done. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight plants in this pot. Easy. So I got the second one planted. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. It's going to be really interesting to watch these calla lilies because I've got each group of them that I have planted so far. They're in very different light situations. So the ones up in Versailles get sun until after 2 p.m., like from the very first part of the day. And it's still, even though it's morning sun, it's still really hot this time of year. I mean, we're at 100 degrees today, right? Mm -hmm. so it's supposed to be 100. 97. 97 right now. It um, feels pretty decent in the shade. These will get the dappled sun kind of shadier all day long and then the ones I have over near the chicken coop will get like kind of somewhere right in between so it'll be really interesting I actually feel like I have a little bit of a of a gap here Erin I could have fit one more calla in here I think I should have ordered six instead of five <laughs> I have one lone calla I'm gonna pot I think in a uh, its own container and put it on a tabletop somewhere which I think will be equally as pretty and that will be another good test to see how it does on its own um, anyway I think that this is just a really beautiful blend I think all the plants will be very happy Happy here um, and we will give you update shots as the season progresses and hopefully by the time we update you on these containers for the first time well I know one thing will happen this bench is gonna get a paint job you know it's not until you get right up on it that I realize, like oh man <laughs> it's looking pretty rough it gets the sprinkler water right here so the poor thing gets um, hard water and then of course there's a tree right above it so it gets some bird uh, usage as well and then hopefully the Hartley will be up if not by the first update maybe by the second we'll see a very changed background so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video seeing these containers come together for this year I'm really happy with them hope you guys are enjoying your day and we will see you in the next video bye